trees Have in mind since we were children To shake it loose Hi, my name's Amy Harbig. I'm from Sydney, Australia. I've been adventure riding BMWs for about eight years. And this is my much loved, much used and slightly abused F800. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, I fell off my bike again. <laughs> well, I had a little bit of an off down the rocks um, and I just got back up and then I went over and I did it a couple of more times just to make sure I could do it properly. You know, adventure riding, things don't always go smoothly the first time. And sometimes you have to go down rocks like that. So you have to be able to sort of master getting up and just doing it again. It was good fun. Oh, well, it was quite a long time ago. I saw Long Way Round. And from the moment I saw that, I thought, ah, that's what I want to do. And that's the bike I want to do it on. It wasn't until many years later that uh, about eight years ago, I bought my first uh, BMW. And that was an F650 Funduro. I didn't buy this bike just by chance. I wanted to get a BMW, so I went out and got myself one. It was a few years later that I, when BMW bought this, the F800 out. I loved it instantly and went out and bought one. And since then, I've never looked back. I enjoy a challenge. You know, sometimes I'm not successful at it, but you just get up and try it again. That's what I love doing. That's what I love about motorbike riding and riding these GSs. It wasn't long after I got the bike that I knew the bike could take me anywhere I wanted to go, but I didn't quite have the skills to be able to get it there. So I went off and did some courses. The first course was an adventure bike riding dual sport course, and the next two courses I did were trials riding courses. I'm more than happy to take my GS anywhere. Up rocks, down rocks, sand, mud, gravel, it's all in a day's riding. I'm also pretty handy with GPS. When I participate in the GS safaris, the standard GS safaris, there's usually up to about nine girls. But on the two enduro safaris, I'm the only girl to have done it. Um, it makes me very proud that I'm the only girl to have done it, but I'd love to see more girls getting out there and doing it. I've ridden the APC. This rally is seven and a half thousand kilometres over 14 days. It's a tough ride. It's an unsupported ride as well. So you have to carry all your own luggage, food and mechanical supplies. If you get a flat tire, there's no one there to fix it for you. You have to do it yourself. If you break down, you have to fix your bike yourself. What would it mean to me to be on the first ever international team for the GS Trophy Cup? Wow, what an experience and opportunity that is. Firstly, not only just to encourage women into riding, it'd be great to see more women out there and by showing that these bikes are the perfect bike for women to get out and start adventure riding. That would be incredible. But secondly, the camaraderie, the fun, the events, and the riding, the technical part of the riding courses and the competition. How incredible would it be to be a part of an all-female team where working together, we have to get our bikes, all three bikes, up and over a log or up a crazy hill. Be working together to get that achievement, it'd be incredible. <laughs> <laughs> 